All right, welcome to another episode of Damage TV. This is Damage Creator. Today, we are going to be going through my makeup box once again. I got some new things, and I got some 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 stuff that you might need to look at. So yeah, before I go any further, um, I want to tell y'all what I've been using to get my face nice and squeak. That, well, well, yeah, squeaky clean. Um, I got these samples from Moody Sister Skincare. And um, these samples are amazing, especially this one. This is their um, Hydrating Blueberry Lime Facial Scrub. Oh my gosh, it smells like a dessert, and it looks like, like a crystal dessert, like you could eat it. Like, like, it smells really good, and this is what it looks like. It, I think I see some speckles in there, but I definitely smell that blueberry. It's almost like it's either like a muffin or a pie, and y'all know how much I love desserts. And I also got um, the mineral eyeshadow from them. This is another sample that they gave me. Um, this is in the color Lucky Star. Amazing. The pigmentation, A1. So if you're looking for some super duper good pigmentation and it applies well, gotta go get you some of this stuff. Alright, what's next? Let's see what we got here. So let's go ahead and get into the new shit. Um... Y'all already know, I, I already reviewed this before, it came along with the mask, I believe that was on a Thursday, maybe. Thursday? Yeah, Thursday, yep. This is the, um, Yakina Waterproof Eyeliner. I got this as a voucher from Vipon. I'm gonna tell you guys a lot about Vipon, because that is my go-to for when I want to buy it. Things like on the low, cheap, don't want to spend too much, getting the discount and still saving money. Like, that is legit the truth. So, yeah, I got this from them. Up to about $2.22. Worth it. Then I got the CoverGirl joint. This is their, um, Professional Rockable Eyelash um, Mascara. Now, y'all know I've been using e.l.f. products, but these are old, and I'm going to throw these away. Um, this is their primer and their regular black mascara, and then this is their uh, regular and waterproof mascara. And these are dried out, and I cannot be using these anymore, so I will be throwing these away, and this will be my go-to. Um, I cannot wait to actually use this because I saw this in Target and this was a pretty good uh, I forgot the price of this my mom probably has the uh, the uh, receipt but it's okay oh my goodness look at that I don't know how I like this stuff but yeah this is the brush and the color is very black that's the color the color is very black um, what else in here that's new you probably seen this before but I'm going to show you this in person. This is the NYX um, Duo. Uh, um, this is the NYX Ombre Lip Duo. It comes as, as a lip liner and lipstick. This is in the color Rags to Riches. This literally is about $12 at Macy's. Not too much on the expensive side, but almost close to about... About how much it is right now, but yeah. Um, I tried to use this like, as a travel to go foundation. Um, this is the bottle that I was trying to find, and I literally found it in in um a box that I was carrying um uh, with my old lipstick, the the old makeup that I probably would never use up again. But yeah, I tried to use this foundation to go bottle. It didn't work, so I'll probably just use this maybe for facial primer when I get a fish facial primer, but until then, I'm still using Geo Naturals, which probably works better for me. Yeah. Um, so this is what I did. I tried to put that, um, the Santi, the one that smells like gel, hair gel, in this, it, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. I didn't have a funnel, so I didn't want to use it, but I actually mixed this with my um, LA Colors liquid makeup and beautiful bronze. 
I don't think it really changed anything, but I knew it was going empty. So basically all I did was just open this up. And then open this up. Because I already know these colors are like separately. So probably together. You probably won't even see a difference. But yeah, look at that. That's what I pretty much did. And that was that. But this, I love this foundation. Like, this is my favorite foundation so far. Um, because I've used foundation sticks, and I love the coverage, but it's that little, it's just a little stick, and you gotta keep applying and all that. So that, that was just what was bothering me. Um, and that was before I had all my stuff. And this is their uh, Aqua Styly Silky Milk. You, you saw a review. If you saw the review, good for you. If not, check it out on my damage review playlist. But yeah, that's what I basically did with both of these. This is from Shop Miss A. These are Shop Miss A products. And I just, uh, what? Well, shake it up. <clears throat> and I don't know if it did anything. It probably didn't do nothing, but. If it looks better and a much creamier um, foundation, then I'll probably continue to keep using it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be using this anymore because it's dried out too. So I'm probably going to, these are the three that are probably going to be gone. I'm mad at that dried up, but hey, when it ends, it ends. Um, what else can I talk about? Oh, I bought lashes. Yeah, I bought lashes. <laughs> uh, I got these lashes from Target too. These are um, Eyelore London Vegas Nay lashes. It's one set, and this is their Glam Grand Glamour lashes. This comes with the lash glue, and it's real. It's almost like a pill. The lash glue, to be honest with you. So let me show you the lashes. The lashes are pretty, um, not, I don't want to say intense, they're, they're, they're a little too thick for my liking, but I kind of wanted to go, I kind of wanted to be different for Halloween, so, these are pretty good. They're not like the elf ones, though, and I didn't wear those, I actually threw those in the trash, I know, well, I kept, I tried to do lash glue, but it didn't last long, but let me show y'all this pill form of um lash glue that they got now the one i got from elf their lash glue that came with the eyelashes was clear this is actually white and it came with this little application stick as part of the the, the glue um, um. it's not like a brush but yeah look at that check that out I don't know if this will show up. But yeah, that glue is white. That is white glue. Not like school glue. <laughs> Why I keep smelling stuff? I don't think it doesn't really have a smell to it either. But yeah, that's glue. It does come with instructions in many languages, so it's definitely an international look. But yeah, these I'm gonna say these for Halloween and I don't want really to use them now, but they are reusable. Um, but these are for Halloween, so, yeah, I'm still prepping, um, I'm trying to be a little more early, uh, it, I think it's really started with that mask, to be honest, because I wasn't even thinking about getting anything for Halloween, um, and I wasn't even thinking about becoming a character, because last year I was the bride, um, and stuff, and, um, that wasn't even a prep either. I was either going to be a bride or Marion Antoinette because I had on, you know, the, 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 the white nightmare wig. But I'm glad that came out fine either way. Um, this bottle, y'all probably haven't seen this before. But yeah, this bottle is filled with water and witch hazel. This is my um, finishing spray. So if you like, if you like doing DIYs, get you some 
witch hazel. Um, this I think this one the one that looked with the I got is the astringent, ast astringent, astringent. I don't know. Uh, look, what I just said previously, because you know, even though I graduated from high school, you know that should be ugh, be doozy. Um, yeah, y'all already know about this. L.A. Girl Pro Cathela, Color Form Number 983. Keeps my skin looking pretty. Now, last time I tried to do makeup, it didn't go too well. I think it's been a while since I did makeup. And. And Um, It's been a while since I did makeup. And I think when I turned the lights out, it almost it scared me. It really did scare me. Um, if I showed you that picture, I would never forgave myself for it. Oh, I had some tape. I apologize. I have tape. Um, just to kind of um, line up on here so I can keep everything in place because everything been a mess. But other than that, I got I got tape. And I'm just past my bedtime because I didn't go to sleep till 3 in the morning. That's bad. Okay. But yeah, I also got LA Colors. I got a white too. LA Colors uh, Glam. Yeah, so this is basically my makeup box. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, most of the stuff I reviewed already except for the Target. And the NYX, another LA Colors product, which is the eyeshadow palette, and that's pretty much up to that, and, and the lashes. So, if you have not seen the review for the eyeliner, that, that pink eyeliner pencil, and the mask, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, before this was bent, this was all bent. I think it was due to packaging. It was not due to it. It's not the um. How do I say this? It's not the uh. The people that that got the the company's fault. It's it's just the, the packaging came wrong. So yeah, I'm gonna do the rest of the video with the end of the video like this because this is lovely. I just took an iron. Cleaned this once, ironed it once, and it still came out flawless. Bam. So if you have not seen a review for this mask and um, the eyeliner pencil, I'll do a review for that. I mean, it's in my review playlist, damage review playlist. So yeah, I will see you all next week. Because I'm looking forward to doing some more reviews in May. And... Updating more on my progress, you guys. So, bye! I got fat chin, but it's okay because I'm gonna shave my face tomorrow. <laughs> bye. Happy Friday.